Okay, so it's definitely true that a lot of people have switched from traditional messaging apps to instant messaging apps like WeChat, WhatsApp, and Telegram. But this actually doesn't apply to iPhone's traditional messaging app called iMessage. People still use it to communicate with their friends, family, and other people they may know. And iMessage is a super feature-rich app, but things can get super complicated when you want to do specific things like print iPhone messages for a court case or any sort of legal matter, or if you just want to keep some sort of record of important information. So in this video, I'm going to be exploring a bunch of different options that you could actually use to print off iPhone messages for whatever reason you may have. But make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into the video. So the first method for this is actually going to be to use a third party app to actually read the messages on your computer and be able to print them off as a conversation. Obviously, it's completely possible to print pictures from your iPhone manually, but it's just super tedious and it honestly takes a long time to fit all the messages in a single screenshot. So in the situations like I mentioned in the intro, it's going to be a lot more practical to use an actual software for something like this. And this tool makes it super easy to actually do so without having to go through manually step by step. And by the way, guys, this software can be downloaded from the Easy Phone Recovery website. Links will be in the description as well as a pinned comment. This is actually available on both Mac and Windows, but if you're using it on Windows, you're going to need to actually actually install iTunes, which I actually just did. Mac users, they don't need to install it. Now, the first step is going to be to connect your phone via a USB-C or a USB cable to your PC itself. Now, I'm using a Lightning to USB type C connector, and this is going directly into the back of my PC. But obviously, you can just use a basic phone charger and it's not any different. Now, if the software is not reading the messages, then you need to back up your iPhone with iTunes and try again. Okay, so boom, just like that, we are connected and we can press start backup. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to initialize all the settings right here. We just got to press trust, enter in our password, and just like that, we should be good to go. We're just going to need to restart the program because obviously it's asking us to. So we're just going to do this. Now, we're just going to let it do its thing and I'll see you guys once this is actually done. Okay, so right now I'm in this. I'm not trying to leak any of my personal messages while I'll show you guys this. So I tried to find a window that is like not confidential personal information. So this is like a scam message for example you can see the timestamps the number that it was sent by all that stuff um you can see right here there's just like these random messages okay so for example if we want to print off a conversation we're just going to go here to print go like this to next and then from there i could pick like a random phone number like this one for example go to next and then we'll just have this scam thing right here we could go to the print preview go okay save it as a pdf press okay and just like that we can see that this is exactly how it would print off as it would show the message the sender information the date all that stuff the tansy logo as well as the date and time so that's exactly how we do that we just press print and everything would be good to go and also i'm going to be showing you how you can export these text messages as a pdf so right here we're going to go to save we're going to save as a pdf file and we're able to disable the option to add a tansy logo as well as don't save images and videos reduce file size i'm just going to do add tansy logo because why not and then i'm also going to do save to single file with the pdf page size set to letter 8.5 11 inch so we're going to go to next and then from there we'll literally pick a random number so for example this one we go to next this is also another spam message right here i'll press save and then we'll be given the option to actually save it as a pdf so for example it's call this i'm just gonna call this sms receipt and i'm gonna save that to my documents just like that we're able to boot it up and this is it saved as a pdf that we can easily print off just by going right here print it off and boom that is how you save it as a pdf and guys you're also able to save it as an html file if you want but yeah guys that is basically it for the first method let me talk about method two which is going to be manually saving screenshots yourself okay so obviously the second method is going to be to print out a screenshot from your iphone and this is definitely doable and it's definitely the quickest way to do it all you have to do is literally press the volume up button on your phone as well as the side button take a screenshot it's so easy to do and it's most importantly free all you have to do is navigate on over to the text message that you would like to print out screenshot it by using the volume up button and the side button on your iphone go to your photos app and then navigate on over to the print button in your camera roll itself the screenshot method is super easy to use but it's not super useful when you need to print a long conversation of like five or six messages 
messages or more. A single screenshot won't actually cover the entire conversation for this method. Now for the third method, this is going to be manually forwarding your text messages to your email. And you'll have to do this for individual messages, but you'll be able to long press any message you'd like to print out, press the copy button, find and open the mail app on your iPhone and compose a new email. And in the body of the email, you're just gonna paste these messages in the order of the conversation. You can then email yourself this message and print them out from your computer. The only thing is with this method, there are a ton of limitations. For example, printing a long conversation. You need to select all the messages one by one, which is not really convenient at all. And this also strips the meta information from the text message itself, such as the sender's name and information. That won't be visible as well as the date and time of the messages itself. So yeah, guys, that was three easy ways that you are able to print messages from iPhone. And they all work perfectly for different matters, such as if you need to print messages for a court case. You can use any of these three depending on what your requirements are, what you'd like to do, and how much time you have. I hope this video helped you out. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in a future video on the channel. Peace out.